It started as a simple probe by a Senate ad hoc committee into financial spending under various leaderships of the Niger Delta Development Commission. And as details of seeming reckless spending by the past and present leaderships were uncovered by the Senate ad hoc committee on National Assembly, accusations and counter accusations started flying between the Minister of Niger Delta and former acting managing director of the Interim Management Committee of the NDDC. The chairman of the committees on Niger Delta development of both houses of the federal legislature were accused by the present interim management committee of trying to hijack the NDDC. But until investigations are concluded, it is too early to take sides in a matter with no end in sight. Well, joining us via Skype from Bayasa is former Secretary General Ijo Youth Council and DG Ijo Forward Movement, Alfred Kemepadu. Good morning. Thank you for joining us on TVC Breakfast. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Alfred, I know you have been at the forefront of championing the cause of uh, Niger Delta and specifically the Ijo uh, people. Talk to us uh, with recent uh, revelation from the probe, how much it is costing the people, uh, especially with regards to development. Um, I will just go straight to the point. Um, there is nothing about the NDDC that is new. We have always said that it's a cesspool for corruption. We have said many times, and I guess it's not the first time you're hearing it. But at this particular point in time, um, the whole thing is a, a huge shame, a humongous shame to all of us in the Niger Delta. It's presenting us to the world as people who just come to national television like I am this morning to mouth about our development, but we are serious when... Um, the saddle is given unto us. Instead, we turn what is supposed to develop us to the extortion of funds, the laundering of funds, and um, the, the, the overall damage of our people. So that's just it. But you see, it doesn't just end there. I, I, I dare to say, and um, I want you to take it seriously, that these organizations to us, further investigation shows that they are being set up in this manner to fail by the federal government of Nigeria and our allies. Because you begin to ask some kind of solid questions. First of all, there's an interim management committee in NDDC. You need to understand that the interim management committee, such committee is not even known to the laws establishing the Niger Delta Development Commission. So where did it come from? And we have been shouting on national television that this is so wrong, but you see, the big boys, those who feel they belong to the cabal, that whatever they think is what they do in this country feel, they can set up anything from the presidency and deploy it to the Niger Delta people, which for that develop, or that develops the Niger Delta people. Because as we said, the interim management committee was not known to law. At a particular time, you begin to ask questions like, um, a particular board was set, sent to the Senate for approval you ask yourself another question. What happened to the board that was sent to the Senate for approval? Yes, there are arguments that uh, the board was not appropriately constituted, that who is supposed to be chairman is supposed to come from Delta, and Bielsa is supposed to have an MD and other stuff. So you begin to think, what was the Senate, the president and the presidency thinking when they put it, it that inappropriately? You ask another question again to what were they still thinking that they could not swap it? After all, the personalities on the board could have been renominated to fit in the positions as prescribed by law. You begin to act. Further down the line, we also talked about the forensic auditing of the NDDC. So many of us came to your station and other stations that the Niger Delta is so uh, the Niger Delta Development Commission is so corrupt that it will consume any kind of panel. And if the president, as he has stated, wants to really and is serious about the forensic audits of the Niger Delta Development Commission, that the president should outsource it to at least the big five, internationally reputable organizations such as the KPMGs and others. We made that statement. Instead, they allowed them to re reaward these contracts to their proxies who are now beginning to um, take advantage of even the forensic audit, probably to even cause a forensic corruption that we are yet to, to, to find out. All right. So you begin I to see that these organizations Yes, they have their faults that the federal government comes here, pick their proxies, and not people who are really capable of executing what the Niger Delta people desire. All right, because Alfred. The federal government sets them up for failure. Yeah, Alfred, let, let me interrupt you this way and, and, and tow you in this line. 
okay. the information of what the Niger Delta has access to when it comes to resources, when it comes to finances, and when it, when it comes to the mandates that it has, is open to all of you who are members and supposed to be the direct beneficiaries of what government and NDDC is doing. Now, the, 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 the National Assembly uh, Pro Panel, ad hoc you know, committee and all of that, is probing monies amounting to, over, to about 40 billion naira. Now, recently, we also saw the report of the acting uh, MD uh, saying that they spent about 1.5 billion naira mm -hmm. on uh, COVID-19 palliatives for staff, where some persons got about 10 million, others got about 7 million, 3 million, and all of that, depending on what it is. Now, when it comes to standing up to these people to say, you need to give account, that money has been released, we need to give account of this, we've seen the members of the youth people, youth in the Niger Delta, stand up to government. But we don't see the youth standing up to these people to say that this money has been given and it has to be channeled the way it's supposed to be. No, basically we do that. We do that. We do that even to the extent of some of us stood up against the fact that the NDDC is now being supervised by the Ministry of Niger Delta. We have done that. We are doing it. Even now I'm doing it. Now, let me tell you something. The NDDC at its setup. It's supposed to be supervised directly from the presidency and not by any ministry. Now, to further portray this, let me tell you something. The budget of the Ministry of the Niger Delta is about 24 billion. The budget of the NDDC is about 100 billion. Where have you seen in the world where 24 kg will have to tow and supervise 100 kg? It doesn't happen. So when you say we don't stand up, we stand up. But at every point in time we stand up, the presidency, as I dare to accuse this morning, would always subvert us by using proxies among us in this environment to see how they can scuttle our activities. Let me tell you something. The NDDC, like I said in this program, was set up, supervised directly from the presidency. If the president and the presidency was directly supervising the NDDC as it was set up as an interventionist agency directly supervised from the presidency, where would we be having all these allegations of somebody mandating somebody to take that, sign 30 billion naira contract, mandating somebody to, to take oath of office and other things? The truth is, the way the NDDC is set right, up, so it's not Alfred, set up like any other organization. Alfred, quickly, so, so are you confident are that, that the probe the will achieve its purpose at the end of the day? Did I not tell you months ago in your station that with the way the probe is going, that it will amount to nothing? And that is what it is today. All the right. presidential has, has to deploy a presidential wheel to, 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 to the setting up of the end, except to, All right. to the setting up of the working of the NDC, except yeah. we are saying here and now All that, right. Alfred. that what is happening in the NDDC is a direct attempt to undermine the Niger Delta. Right. Look at what is also happening in the We Amnesty have to office. leave it here. Yeah. Yeah. Alfred. To... Uh, Alfred, I'm afraid we have to leave it here. But this last question, a yes or a no, would, would do you... you think that the NDDC has outlived its usefulness? The NDDC has not outlived its usefulness. Okay. But right. The manner with which the presidency is deploying the NDDC is wrong. First, right. the forensic audit should be undertaken by foreign forensic auditors and not these locals who award them to themselves just to make more money okay All right, let's leave the conversation here. <laughs> here now thank you alfred yeah. thank you very much